Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com with the Belkin Wemo. This is an interesting device because it's essentially a home automation kit that you can control with your iPhone. I'm just going to unbox it and show you a brief example of what this thing can do. So if we open up the packaging, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to look like, but let's have a go. So inside that box is another box. And inside the other box is yet another box. Welcome to Wemo, it says. Now inside here, you see we've got two devices. This is a wall adapter that you can plug various electronic things into. And this is the sensor uh, with this is the sensor part here, and this is the power unit for the sensor. Now, essentially what this thing can do... So these are the two devices here that we're looking at. And a quick guide here on how to set it up. You download the app, you set up and plug the Wemo in. Uh, connect to the Wemo network and your Wi-Fi on your iPhone. And then you can launch the Wemo app and then carry on. So I'm going to have a quick look at this. I'm going to try and set it up and give you a quick idea of how that works. I'll set it up on my desk, but obviously you can imagine what that's gonna look like in your home at various points. So let's give this a go. So I've got my Wemo system plugged in. You can see it down in my extension cords down there, all in all sorts of tangled mess. Uh, that's the last time you're gonna see that. So I've now got everything set up. I've got the motion sensor plugged in. I've got the actual Wemo system plugged in and it's plugged into my light over here. Now normally in my videos I would not let you see my light but because of this is to do with the lights that I thought I'll break that rule just this once. Now what you can see from the Wemo app is that on here I've got the on off button and if I press the if I press that and switch it off then the light goes off. If I switch it on then the light comes on. Do that again just so you can see that and back on again. Now what you can do, as you can see, there's a Wii Motion sensor here. Now that's, even if it detects movement at the moment, it's not going to do anything and that's because you have to set up a rule. Um, now if you see the rules here, you can actually select whether you want to have your light turn on or off at particular times um, or turn them on for a particular length of time. Now what you can also do, to enable the motion sensor, you also have to set a rule for that. Now you can make sure that the lamp either turns on or off or does nothing um, or turns off after 15 minutes of no motion. That's all set up so all I need to do now is select that I want it on all day just so I can show you it now but you can have it so that the motion sensor only acts between certain times of the day as well so that way not only is it efficient but you also you get into a routine so for certain things like your coffee in the morning you can have it switch on your coffee um, or if you need to heat up your curling irons, then you can also do that as well. So let's have that turned on all day. Uh, rule name, let's go with motion light. Now I've got my motion sensor set up at a different part of the room. So to show you how that works, I'm just going to step away from my desk over to the motion sensor and you should see that it comes on. So that's currently active. So if I go on to devices, I'll switch it off. So you can see that's off now. Now I'm going to walk away from my desk towards the motion sensor and when it catches my movement, it should turn on. There we go. So I literally just stepped out of my desk chair and it came on. So if I switch it off again, and if I move, there we go. So that's just come on there. Now I'll show you that from a different angle as well. So what I've done now is I've hooked up this other light to the Belkin Wemo system and I've got the motion sensor uh, there as well. So what it should do now is if I switch it off, let's just make sure that rule is active on my phone. Yeah, that's active. So if I switch it off, if it detects motion now, what it should do is switch the light on. So even if I just move my hand slightly, there we go. You see the sensor came on and it switched itself on. I'm going to switch it off. Motion switches on. 
There we go. So you can imagine all sorts of scenarios where you might want to use this. It's pretty cool. Uh, I guess for me personally, at night time, I don't like to have my main living room light on. So if I'm sat reading on the couch, for instance, um, I can use it to switch on like an up light or a lamp on a lamp stand to come on when I walk into the lounge at night time. Now you can set rules like that to be very specific so that even if it senses motion all day, it's not going to switch that lamp on. So you can schedule it to fit. It's all, all pretty awesome. Now this is the app and the kit, the app is obviously a free download from the app store. The kit itself with the motion sensor and the actual Wemo main unit itself costs £79.99 pence, but in the States you're looking at about $99.99. All in all it looks like a really cool little thing. Um, if you want to go download it I'll leave the product link in the description box as always. But if you want to ask me any questions before coughing, off any money, coughing up any money for this, please feel free to use the comment section or catch me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam and I will see you again soon.